What's up guys and welcome back to the Minecraft modding tutorial. Today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make your own ore generate in your world. So to do this you'll need to set up forge and everything like that. And you'll also need to prepare your mod files. Once you've done that and you've created your own ore. And I've just made a simple block here which doesn't have a texture or anything like that. I've registered the block. If you want to know in more detail how to create your own block then go and check out my video on that. So, what you need to do, you need to type in in your public static void register render information inside your common proxy file. You need to do game registry capital R game registry dot <coughs> and then if you're using Eclipse, you'll get all these different methods. And the one you want is register world generator. So let's just go ahead into this one and now dot register world generator. So what you can do inside this the brackets you type in new and then whatever you type next is the gonna be the name of the class. So I'm gonna call it tutorial so toot world gen rater. Then you put two brackets and end it off with a semicolon. Now what you can do, you can go ahead and hover above it and you can go ahead and create class tutorial world gen. Let's create that and finish. And now just to speed things up, I've gone ahead and done the code beforehand. You can go ahead and down to the description and get the code from there. And I've just got it right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this in. And I'll explain what it is and everything. So just here I've got the generate method which is it generates it's where it generates the block and then you've got this thing called switch and this will uh, do all of these different bits here but it will switch it if it's in a different place or anything so if case is minus one which is the place where the nether is it will do this generate nether method if it generates surface which is surface which is the overworld which is case 0 and then case 1 is the end uh, and what you will need to do is you see where you've got all these generate nether generate surface inside here you need to copy this code so 4 and what 4 does is it it does all the possible uh, numbers so what this means is I int i equals 0 and then if int i is smaller than 30 it will plus i so what that does is it will do i equals 1, i equals 2, i equals 3, i equals 4, i, I equals 5 and it will just keep going until it gets one right and then you've got a random position which is going to be generated and then you've got your world gen and the clash you're going to be using is world gen minimal and this is the one that all use and then just inside this bit here is the block that's going to be generating and then the frequency and you can go ahead into the class and that's like number of blocks so actually it's the number of blocks that it generates with so you could say to generate with three you could and that would be in clumps of three and then you can choose the block and as I said I created the block earlier so I'm going to go ahead and copy this common proxy paste that in there and if you do dot dot or then you also need to do dot block id and then dot generate and then you give it the parameters which is the random placements so that's been generated I'm now going to go ahead and launch minecraft and we're going to see whether we can find the ore in the world so for this I'm just going to make it a little bit more uh, so more spawn and if you want to know this I bigger than 30 the bigger you make this the more likely it's to spawn so I'm gonna put it at 100 so it's quite easy to find so I'll see you in a minute once Minecraft is launched bye! so I've found some and as you can see the textures because they're the default they're, they're messed up because I haven't actually chose a texture but here's the block and you can see it's generated in quite huge quantities See, there's a lot that way. 
and oh look there's even more there so let's just dig down just to show oh yep yeah, there's more there let's just dig randomly let's just dig this way uh, oh what was that yeah there's another one here as you can see you can see through the ground so as you can see it's working it's generating and i can tell you that it will not generate in the nether or the end so that's going to be it for this video guys i hope it was helpful if it was then please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you want more minecraft board tutorials and I, as i said i hope you all enjoyed this guys peace